Have you ever heard of the miracle at the end of the line? The legless man starts to walk on his own two feet. And the blind man, with his eyes closed to the world, actually starts to see. In other words, they are scammers who just pretend to have disabilities. It is a sarcastic idea to go home in perfect condition once the train reaches the last stop. There may be people who really are disabled, but I always wonder if they're just scammers like the others. I would always doubt them. I will never fall to those scammers. But one day... Some girl dropped a sheet of paper on my lap. It must have been her sob story. Is she begging for money? I tried not to pay attention, but... The content always aroused curiosity. For some reason, I couldn't stand it. I just wanted to look at the paper. It was cliché. She introduced herself as a student who loves animals. The campaign-like text was written like a long story. She's trying to save animals. At the edge of the paper was an account number along with the guardian's phone number. I guess they wanted me to transfer some money to them. It was a girl who looked like she was in her teens. What? Is it a new type of begging technique? Runaway youth? Or maybe she was manipulated by a cult or something? Everything seems fine, but it's so late. I really feel bad for this girl who's asking for money so late in the day like this. I got caught up in a lot of thoughts, but it was certainly a lie. It had to be don't know exactly how she's scamming everybody, I don't know what she wants, but I just ignored it and decided to go home. Doors open. But I was curious. Miracles can happen at the end of the line. Is that girl also a scammer? What kind of miracle will unfold? Are you using this money to eat a nice meal at a restaurant near the last station? When I thought about it, I laughed. But then... Let's go home. Let's go to the house. Come on. You've got to hurry. I couldn't turn away. And it would have been useless to call the police. There was nobody else around either because it was so late. What should I do? <coughs> After thinking about it... Excuse me! Let go of that hand! What are you doing? I'm her father! Do not lie! If you don't let go of that hand, I'll call the police! Help! Help me! When I started calling the police and screaming like crazy, the man left. Embarrassed. Are you okay? The child seemed frightened. I hesitated for a moment. Should I call the police? However, the child strongly refused. I eventually tried to contact the guardian's phone number on the paper that she gave me. Someone who seemed to be the child's father answered the phone. Then, as it wasn't far from the subway, he asked if I could bring the child home. Yeah, let's do a good deed. It's been a while, so I decided to take responsibility for the child till she got home. Yeah, if you go through the alley from there, then you'll find my house. 
I followed the guidance of the voice on the phone and went to her house. And as we reached the end of the alleyway, the man from the subway popped out. I ran away earlier since you were screaming. What the? Why is he here? Then, the girl behind me also started to laugh, coldly. Could it be that the two were trying to kidnap me from the beginning? I was tricked. I have to run away. I have to get out of this place quickly. But... Thank you for bringing my daughter home. We had a misunderstanding at the subway station. I'm sorry. My dad hates it when I pass out the flyers for the animal protection campaign so late at night. Thanks to you, I have a restored faith in humanity. And just like that, the dad and daughter duo, who shared the same cold smile, held hands, and went on into their home. Don't judge. Here's a story that will ease your mind. If you see too many horror stories, you might be a little too scared.